Outgoing President of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari has blamed external factors which included Russia-Ukraine war as the cause of the Nigeria government under his leadership resorting to huge borrowing to provide basic infrastructures. President Muhammadu Buhari stated this on Monday in Lagos State while speaking during the commissioning of Dangot refinery. According to President Muhammadu Buhari, the Russia-Ukraine war, crash in global crude oil prices and coronavirus hindered the government's ability to provide basic infrastructures to Nigerians without resorting to huge borrowing. President Muhammadu Buhari thereafter appealed to the private sector to not only fill in the gap created by the global crisis in the area of infrastructures but the private sector should also strive to fill the vacuum created in all the critical sectors of the economy. Russia-Ukraine war began in February 24, 2022. President Muhammadu Buhari has been in power since May 29, 2015. Nigeria Employers Consultative Association, NECA, in January 2023, had said in Lagos that Nigeria's debt profile may hit 77 trillion Nigerian Naras in June 2023. This as KPMG, a consulting firm had said earlier in this month of May that with the federal government of Nigeria, FGN revenue to GDP ratio of 4.49% as of December 2022, Nigeria's debt service to revenue ratio may surpass 100% in 2023, which will limit the fiscal space and the government's ability to pay for its operations and functions unless urgent measures are taken to build revenue. The commission Dangot refinery is said to have the capacity to produce or process 650,000 barrels of crude oil per day in a single train. Dangot Group said with the commissioning of the refinery, there will be constant availability of high-quality fuels for our transportation sector, the refinery will also make available to our industries vital raw materials for a wide range of manufacturing. Severely impacted by several external crises, including the global financial crisis, the collapse of oil prices, the coronavirus pandemic, and the Russia Ukraine war. The consequences of these challenges constitute a severe strain on our economy, limiting government's ability to provide basic infrastructure without resorting to huge borrowings. Our government, therefore, took the decision to focus attention on creating an enabling environment for the private sector thrive and fill the enormous gap in investments, not only in infrastructure, but also in all critical sectors. We recognize that without active participation of the private sector and a strong commitment to public-private partnership, our economy would continue to remain severely challenged and our economic growth impeded. Government, therefore, will and should continue to provide an enabling environment and encourage innovative public-private partnership in all sectors of our economy. Our administration has demonstrated its commitment to this in many areas, such as our Executive Order 007 of 2019, which facilitated the rehabilitation, construction of many roads by private sector investors using tax credit scheme. It is my hope that the succeeding administration... Our group's corporate vision is driven by our mission to produce what we consume and to promote self-sufficiency in the basic needs of our people. We decided on a plant designed with state-of-the-art technology and a scale in a capacity that will be a game-changer in Africa and the global market. Overall, we are committed to operating our plant in line with international best practice, recognizing the importance of protecting the environment, we have adopted stringent environmental, health and safety policies. Dangot Refinery is located in Ibejuleki, Lagos, covering an estimated land area of approximately 2,635 hectares. The refinery is said to be powered by a 435-megawatt MW power plant.